Now we're going to look at evaluating fractions containing variables. The first step is going to be to simply substitute in the value that we're given for each variable and then from there we'll simplify the fractions. So in this first one we've got our fraction y over negative x and we're given x equals 5 and y equals negative 4. So we're going to take that 5 and put that in for x and we're going to take that negative 4 and we're going to put that in for y. So that gives us the fraction negative 4 over, now that's a negative x and we're putting in a 5 so it's negative 5. So we have negative 4 over negative 5. We can't divide by <clears throat> any number um, but they're both negative and we know that a negative divided by a negative gives us positive. So the negatives essentially cancel out or we could divide top and bottom by negative 1 if you want to think of it that way. And we end up with 4 fifths. Same kind of thing here. We're given a value for m and n. m is negative 3, so that's going to go in right there. And n is 6, so that's going to come right over here. Take a look at what we get when we substitute those in. We get negative 3 minus 6 over negative 12. Now, before we can simplify vertically, we have to simplify everything that's on one level of our fraction. So we have to simplify everything we can here first and here. Then we can start simplifying top and bottom. We can't, say, divide by 3 on the top and bottom. That'll get us into trouble. So we don't want to do that. We want to simplify and then go from there in terms of simplifying our fraction. So negative 3 minus 6 is negative 9 over negative 12. Now we have a negative 9 and negative 12. We can divide both of those by negative 3 top and bottom. So we divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, and that gives us negative 9 divided by negative 3 is just 3 over negative 12 divided by negative 3 is 4. So we have 3 fourths. The real key here is to remember to simplify on the top and the bottom of the fraction bar before we simplify it as a fraction. So we took care of this, then we got here where we had one number over one number, and then we started dividing to simplify it. Hopefully that makes sense, and uh, it's using all the things that you know from previous things, or from previous parts, except we have one step in the beginning. We have to substitute in values for our variables. Then all the rules that we've learned before apply.